Now I'm going to show you a sling that looks quite different than the others in the white material. And it's actually a non-woven material because this is what we call a patient-specific sling. This is becoming very popular in the industry because of the importance of infection control and the difficulty of managing laundry. The slings that I showed you earlier all have specific washing instructions that require you to wash them at a certain temperature, add no bleach, and, don't, and not to add certain additives to them. If you don't follow the instructions with slings, you can damage the binding and create a safety issue with the sling. There's been many cases where slings get damaged with bleach and the straps get weak. And that's the point that's supporting the patient so it can be extremely dangerous. It's also important to understand that these slings, if they're used on one patient, some cases they can be removed and some people actually use them from patient to patient. And that is a difficult judgment call to make because infection control is such a serious issue. If something was to happen and there were to be a cross-contamination from patient to patient, that could be a significant liability for a facility, needless to say, affecting the quality of life of the person that's being, the sling is being used on. So this method eliminates both of those concerns. So these slings are not that expensive and most people would prefer to have their own. They can be washed, spot washed, they can't be laundered, they can't be put in the, in the laundry for washing, but they can be cleaned. And many times these can, last, these can last months before they get to the point where they need to be replaced. Now they're available with the universal support or with the head support. We'll be showing you some other versions of that here in a minute.